Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about using the subtract uh, feature, uh, some of the scenarios that can come up and how to get around them. So in this case I have two uh, bodies that are intersecting with each other. We have this one here and this one here and what we want to do is cut them away from each other. Let me uh, turn off my axis display. Okay. So how do we do that? We go to solids and then subtract. We click on the shape we want to keep and then we click on the shape. Let me do that again. Solids subtract. That's the shape we want to keep and that's the shape we want to do the cutting. Not sure why it's doing that. Let's try one more time. There we go. Space bar. Okay, we get a fail. So uh, when it fails, it just doesn't work. So you got to figure it out. You got to figure out what is going on with this shape. So what I'm going to do is turn the block bottom away or turn it off. And then I'm going to go to utilities, stitching, unstitch solid to surfaces. And what this will do is break down the model into all the individual surfaces. And as you can see, we get an error. At least one face could not be successfully unstitched. So that tells us that one of the faces or the surfaces, there was something wrong with it. Now, generally when this happens, the surface where there was a problem will uh, go away. Like it, it will drop um, and then you go back and repair it. In this particular example, um, when we undid it, there, it's not clear where the surface dropped or where the problem surface was. Um, let me do it again. When I uh, stitching, unstitch solid the surfaces, so I click on it, it gives me the error. But it's not clear. We didn't lose any surfaces, but clearly there was something wrong with it. Um, the other thing that I noticed here, when I when I look at this, when I zoom in here, you can see that there's this little little tab hanging out here and uh, sometimes things like that can be problematic uh, where you're unable to get a solid or when you try to boolean that uh, you know it doesn't work or when you try to subtract so what I'm going to do here is just repair these surfaces for good measure so I'm going to select them this one and this one I'm going to go ahead and delete it so select and delete I'm going to create a new layer utilities extract edge is single and I'll pick this edge here and this edge and that one and that one spacebar that gets me the wireframe I'll turn uh, this surface layer off so now I have these chains so I, I can try to do like if I do a cross section I can try to do all of them but we're gonna see the surface gets distorted and basically it means that there's an uneven amount of entities and it gets twisted along the way um, I could do it as a skin and cap off the ends but really it, it's easier just to do surface cross section I'm gonna do the first uh, section here and then I'll do the second section here and really uh, that's all it takes I can bring that solid uh, or the surface layers back up we can do stitching stitch surface to solid select all spacebar so now this is a solid then we can bring our block back up solid subtract keep this shape subtract uh, not sure why that's happening. Solid, subtract, keep this shape, subtract that one. Try one more time. Keep this one, subtract that one, space bar, and then now you can see we have the cavity that we were after. So just a quick video on repairing surfaces. Um, uh, we did a boolean, it failed. We unstitched. We looked for drop surfaces. There weren't any drop surfaces. We looked at where there were errors in the surfaces. And that little tab, ne not necessarily an error, but could be problematic. So we deleted, extracted, and redrew our surfaces, stitched it back to a solid, and then subtracted it. And then we got a good model to work with. So hopefully you found that information useful. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. I'm really, I'm liking all the thumbs up I've been getting lately. So if you like this video too, make sure to do a, a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, comment below. I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much, guys.